Hello, beautiful people of YouTube. Welcome back. Um, today, I want to talk about um, all of my ladies out there. Have you ever been in a situation where you are you know, maybe talking with a guy and something comes up and you're really not clear on how that situation is defined. You hang out or something. You're like, was this a date? Was this not a date? Um, maybe you find yourself misinterpreting a guy's really nice gestures towards you, um, mistaking kindness for maybe having a crush on you. Or maybe you find yourself not wanting guys to do nice things for you because you're like, I'm a woman, I got this on my own. If you fall into any one of those categories, make sure to stay tuned, we're talking about that today. Joining me today is my friend, Daniel Lozada. And uh, yeah, we met at our church, King's Church. Uh, he is one of the coolest um, photographers I know. Um, we're working on a little project together, but you know, we I wanted to bring him on because we've been spending some time together and get his opinion um, from like a male perspective on some of these issues. Because I have a <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like I mentioned in the intro of this video, you know, there's so many times where you're, you know, maybe talking to someone or a guy like, you know, DMs you or texts you and it's kind of like chill and he's like, hey, I want to hang out or I want to like go get food with you or something like that. But it's never actually called a date. So what, when is it a date and when is it not a date? Like, what is that line? What is dating? So with like, I don't know, dating culture has gotten to be like very weird and undefined like now, because like when we think of it like dating culture, I don't know if like you think of it or if anybody else thinks of it, uh, but you're thinking of maybe like, I don't know, in like the 50s, 60s, it's like a guy would definitely like go up to, uh, you know, mm -hmm. someone that he's interested in and you know, ask them, hey, like, would you like to like go on a date with me? Yeah. Instead of like, hey, do you want to uh, hang out sometime? Mm -hmm. You know, it's very vague. Now. Yeah, it's very vague. Yeah, and and that could lead to a lot of confusing like thoughts mm -hmm. and uh, like situations where like me and Sammy like one party thinks that there it's like a date, mm -hmm. and then the other one thinks like, oh, we're just you know friends, and then. It's like a weird limbo to where you don't know, like, oh, should I do this or do that? Because how would it be like interpreted? Mm -hmm. Like, a lot of sleep can be lost <laughs> when uh, communication is not, you know, uh, at the forefront mm -hmm. of like dating culture, I guess. Um, so, I guess the next question, I guess, would be is what, like, how's why, it? Why? <laughs> why is it not clearly defined, though? Like, why do men? not just come out and say that anymore like hey do you want to go on a date uh because men fear rejection right there it is ladies you heard uh, it here first <laughs> and i think it's uh and this is not a bad thing at all but i think now that like you know women are like the culture of uh i mean there's still some in it mm -hmm. but uh like oppression of like women and like empowerment and stuff has like been making strides over the probably like the last like 20 years and with that you know women aren't afraid to say like no i don't want to like go on a date with mm -hmm. you or you know anyways mm -hmm. and i guess words got out in the male culture <laughs> and then at some point maybe uh, who the knows the message has spread right the message has spread i guess <laughs> and at some point within the last like 15 to 20 years men have stopped asking and using the word like date uh when they approach like women um so they're like, they must have had like a round table meeting like uh, <laughs> King Arthur and like the Knights to yeah. where it's like, all right, men, like dilly dilly. And <laughs> like the Bud Light Bud commercials. Light guys is like, we are not, it's like, how do we not get rejected by women, but still like, like, you know, <laughs> yeah. uh, I guess like make our way like into their lives to where, you know, they might think they're hanging out. And then all of a sudden it's like, whoa, I've been seeing this person a lot. Mm -hmm. Maybe do I have feelings for them? Like, yeah. and then all of a sudden it's like, boom. The guy's like in yeah and sometimes not even that subtle yeah um, exactly but i think if men like 
you know, are, are just like straight up and say like, hey, you know, like you want to like hang out and oh yeah, by the way, like this is a date. Mm -hmm. Do you want to go on a date with me? Or even if it's, um, you know, if you know they're afraid of like the rejection and like figure out ways to like spend time with uh, like a girl that they're mm -hmm. interested in. Um, you know, it's okay for women to just come up and say like, hey, before we hang out, I just want to know like, is this a date just for mm -hmm. like my own like, you know, information that I have like going into this. So we can ask is what you're saying. Like, we should be able to ask. I don't see a problem in asking. Because if it's not the guy that's making the intentions clear, I think you, you know, should make, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, don't wait for like the guy to, you know, say something about mm -hmm. it. You know, if you're really, if you have to second guess it, or if you're, you know, spending, you know, too much time just like thinking about it or like worrying about it, just ask. ask. It, there's no like harm because the earlier that you do that, the more, uh, I guess, like awkward moments that you're mm -hmm. saving yourself, you know? Yeah. Because you don't want to uh, be like, oh yeah, this person uh, just, you know, wow, we're just like going to the movies, you know, we want to see like the same movie mm -hmm. or whatever. It's like, oh, we were both hungry after the movie, so we like got something to eat. Or, like, what a coincidence! After. And, uh, you know, whatever. Oh, he just walked me to the door because the neighborhood I live in, you know, we want to be like safe and whatnot. These streets ain't safe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, I've, I've known people who really have spent like too much time in like deep thought, um, just wondering if they're going out on like dates mm -hmm. defined or if it's just like a friendly, you know, like, thing. Same. Yeah. And even if, so like, say like if like you get asked on a date and, but it's like, you know, the whole hangout thing mm. and you're not sure about it. And then you like, come out and ask the guy yeah. right and then he's like oh yeah it, I was thinking it was a date mm -hmm. and you're really not about that yeah and he's like you know I just want to be like friends, friends or whatever you know invite another friend ask them if it's okay you know to yeah. like hang out as a group like what's so wrong with that because mm -hmm. there's two dynamics like if you're trying to like get to know someone whether it's like friends or you have feelings for mm -hmm. them it's good to hang out as a group yep because one you see how they are with a friend mm -hmm. of yours or a mutual friend that you guys have in that dynamic i feel like if like they're alone with like you mm -hmm. or just like in general if, like a guy and a girl alone hanging out and it's like a date mm -hmm. it might be like a different person that come, like shows up yeah you know, because you're kind of like performing you're trying to like put your best self put your best self um i mean i can go into that like <laughs> too like of how that's wrong and just be yourself yes um, yes but yeah it's definitely like you're being your best self uh, for like that person mm -hmm. so that they you can like win them over and it sounds like manipulative But it's just like but that's how we are. It's a human thing. Yeah. It's like, you know, it's understandable. It's very um, Yeah, so yeah, I think like if, if like the the guy You know drops the ball with the communication and you know letting you know what intentions are mm -hmm. if any um, outside of just like friendship then it's definitely you know not a bad thing for mm -hmm. the, the woman to just kind of clear things up gotcha. like going in yeah i don't think like i wouldn't be uh like offended or like oh what why, why are you asking this question it's like but really see, I, you to ask the question. see that's funny though because i feel like the more and more like guys that i kind of interact with and talk to the more i feel like they wouldn't be straight up like even if you ask them like hey is this a date they'd be like nah like this is just do you know what i mean like how many no guys... i don't know what you mean because i i don't okay I can't comprehend. you like, yeah you can't relate to that to, like call call me not call me out but just be like hey is this a date yeah and i'll just be like i don't know is it <laughs> you tell me like you know like being very like coy yeah um i would just be if you know i'd say no we're just you know yeah hanging out or whatever um or yeah it's a date baby uh you know you're where like do you yep. go you tell me yeah i'll pick you up yeah yeah but i think i think it's like the awkwardness on both sides so like the guy doesn't want to admit it but then i feel like a lot of women like even though like i agree with you like it's just better to ask a lot of women are probably like well then if i ask if it's a date like does he think that i think i don't know it gets into like weird territory I, I know what you're saying like it is better to ask and like proper communication uh -huh. is just good all the way around but i think like i think whoever's initiating should like 
clear up their intentions. Oh, for sure, but you can't count on but that. But you can't count no, on that. That's the problem. Count on that. Yeah. Because again, like men are it's it doesn't matter like what you're doing. It doesn't feel good to get rejected. Like yeah. whether you're applying for a job, asking a girl out, um, you know, applying for a credit card, whatever. <laughs> any any sort of like rejection like does not feel good. No. Yeah. So if you're trying to not feel that way, mm -hmm. then you're not trying to put it out that like way to where you can get yeah. like rejected yeah. in a sense. But it doesn't matter, like rejection comes whether Regardless. it's like up front or on the back end where like it's been very like muddy waters mm -hmm. and it just takes longer, like it's gonna happen. So like why yeah. not just, you know, put yourself out there the up front and just be, you know, mm -hmm. make yourself vulnerable, yeah. get rejected. If it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen and you better do it like quick before you either one, lose like a friendship mm -hmm. because, you know, a girl thought you were trying to be slick yeah. and, you know, uh, kind of get into her life very like, <laughs> I don't know, like slithery. Yeah. You know, be, like very like, you know. You were trying to do low key. Yeah, very like low key and just all of a sudden it's like, hey, we've been hanging out a lot. Does that mean like we're dating? Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't think, you know, anyways. Yeah, that's just, awkward. Just Avoid. Dudes, just be up front and, <laughs> you know, don't be afraid to get rejected because yes. everybody gets rejected, not only in yes. like dating life, but everyday life, I yeah. guess. Yeah, so. and from a woman's, like a woman's perspective, we, I know for me personally, like I'm gonna be at least way more appreciative and like respectful towards you if you literally put your big boy pants on and you're like, hey, like, I would like to get to know you better, would you like, want to go on a date with me. If you're like, if you just take that step because so many guys nowadays don't take that step, it's like, even that is just like giving you brownie points, like right there. Yeah. Whether you're interested or not, yeah. like it's just like, wow, like I really respect that he had like the courage to do that. Mm -hmm. um, and like the wording that you said, where it's, hey, I'd like to get to know you better. And mm -hmm. so it's like, okay, you know the person, it's not like you're approaching them like, cold calling yeah you, know, you just see them like out and you're like yo <laughs> shawty <laughs> yeah like holler from across the bar or something let me get but, them uh, digits but yeah it's like so like let's say it's someone you know of your you know maybe not like really good friends but it's like hey like i think you're like really mm -hmm. cool um i like to get you to know you better mm -hmm. if you want to like go out sometime like see yeah. like right there you're like yeah. okay he wants to get to know me yes and then he wants to, like, intentions go clearly defined yeah <laughs> so like even i didn't even say like hey a date is like I, I i set it up to where you could read it like that clearly. it is a date yeah, yeah. um because like i wouldn't <laughs> if i was like with a friend and it's like, hey, you want to go to like a movies or whatever? Because I want to get to know you better. <laughs> be like, dude, you know me. Like, yeah. why do you need to get to know me better? Yeah. And why do we have to go to the movies for you to get to know me yeah. better? Yeah. Um, you know, but if it's like, hey, I think you're like awesome, and I want to get to know you better, and you know, I was wondering if you want to go out sometime. Mm -hmm. Like, and then yeah, it's either like yes or no. Yeah. You know, it's and not respect like, oh, hey, the no. Respect the no, gentlemen. Yeah, no doesn't mean yes. Uh, you know, I know Ever. a lot of like people out there on Instagram and DM culture like to say like, oh, you know, just try again. Yeah. You know, you know, you yeah. Know, you can shoot your shot 2019 all you want, but once you shoot it and it is blocked, don't come back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't sit, shoot again. Sit on the bench and wait to Baskets get back into closed. a new game. Yeah. There's a lid on the hoop. Yeah. Uh, lid on the hoop. Yeah. Uh, but I think like a lot of like, you know, uh, let's say like, uh, like media not like social media mm -hmm. but just like movies television you know things like that mm -hmm. it's like oh like hey like say like movie hitch there, oh, there's yeah. one part it's a great movie i love the movie love but there's like one part where uh it was like in the beginning where he, like will smith was telling uh one of his clients like hey like just she says no but maybe it means like try harder dummy you know it's like sometimes it's not really try harder dummy. Yeah. it's like no, no. And yeah. If somebody was saying like try harder, dummy, like with an I don't even know because like games are weird and just be like upfront and like communicate. Don't play games. We ain't, no one has time for that in their lives anymore. Yeah. Like yeah, just don't play games. So I guess like my next question, which like sorry we got off topic, That's right. but uh, like when it comes to like a date, then and like let's say things happen and 
the way things happen, like you couldn't ask or they didn't specify and things just kind of happen. You're like together and it's like, okay, what is a date? Cause like a lot of people will say like, oh, if the guy pays, it's automatically a date. But now like we're in this, like you said, we're kind of in this like weird transition where it's like female empowerment, woohoo, where it's like, no, we're gonna pay for like our half or whatever. So then it's like, is it still a date? Like if you pay for your half, like what? It's like that weird thing of like what actually is a date and what is not a date. If it if it isn't able to be clearly defined at first. Okay, that's my question. If like, yeah, yeah are we operating under the state? We're operating. It's not clearly defined. Yes, it was right. not talked about prior. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, I mean, I wouldn't read into the whole thing of like, he pays, you pays, you both pay for your own mm -hmm. thing or separate checks or whatever. Yeah. Uh, I guess like traditionally, <laughs> um, you know, if like the guy offers to pay, um, I don't know, like you can see it that way if the guy offers to pay, but he might just like be being a friend. He might actually be a gentleman. <laughs> yeah. You know, so it might And not. see that goes into like mistaking like the kindness for like does he like me? Cause like that's, I've, I've been in that boat where it's like, okay, like is he just being like nice and like just genuinely like being like, oh no, like I'll take care of that, I'll pay for that. Or is it like, oh, like he's interested in me because like my past experiences have shown if the guy has paid, he's interested. So because of that past experience, that's what I think going forward. But I guess that's not like, not necessarily a safe assumption. Uh, no, I wouldn't say it's a safe assumption, okay. especially like, you know, in like 2019. Uh, maybe in like, you know, 1955, 1955 mm -hmm. uh, you know, it was Different. considered like that was like the be all end all. Mm -hmm. But uh, again, I think it just like always circles back to communication. Yeah. Like no matter what, um, you know, I've like hung out with, I have like guy friends, girlfriends in like mm -hmm. separate groups, same groups. Yeah. And I've been out with like both and as like groups and stuff. And I would just say like, hey, I got this. Mm -hmm just get whatever the next thing is, yeah. you know? And, but then again, like- That understanding is It's there, the though. understanding. Yeah. So again, it also like, like I said, it comes back to communication. Proper communication mm -hmm. on both sides. Yeah. Yes. A lot of wars could be won by proper communication <laughs> too, if we're getting that A lot of far, wars could but, not even have yeah. started by proper communication. But we'll rein it back in just yes. to, you know, uh, male female <laughs> perspective. We won't get that far out there. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it's never too late for like the woman to ask, like say it's not clearly defined line yeah. to say like you're out, Bill comes, whatever, like just slide it over to him. Yeah. You know, see what happens and have a, a conversation still. Yeah. Just say, hey, is this like a date? Because if it is, you can pay. Because <laughs> um, if it is. And you yeah. know, if you want to pay whatever mm -hmm. you know if you feel like oh i know at sometimes um you know if even if it was like a coffee let's say like i was out shooting and we've been shooting for a while it's like hey uh, okay like and it's like you know say like the models like yeah i need some coffee or whatever yeah like, all right yeah i'll like go with you or whatever like whether it's a break in between the shoot mm -hmm. or after the shoot you know you just don't want to just like shoot and run but hey you're not a person you're just like a model to me like yeah you, know, you want to treat them like a of, human yeah 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 and just like you know just getting to know people just because mm -hmm. you know human, like networking is everything. networking and just like connecting with another human being mm -hmm. is like you know never like a bad thing mm -hmm. but uh you know where i was like hey let me get this like you came out and like shot me mm -hmm. appreciate it like yeah. working with me etc and they would be like no 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 i got this because if you pay for like it's almost like the thought of like if you pay for it, then that it's means that it's like a date or like I'm letting you, or I'm leading you to believe that you're mm -hmm. into me, whatever. Yep. And I'm just like, okay, I'm just like, you know. I'm just it's, chilling. It's a $3 coffee. It's yeah. like, you know, it's not, not gonna deal. freaking like break the bank or anything. I'm just like <laughs> showing you that I'm thankful for you. you know, yeah. Seeing my talent. Yes. And saying that you want to work with me. Yes. So. And see, and women, so this is where we're messing up because see, clearly I'm not the only one, you just told me that story with that mentality, like, oh, if the guy pays, it's a date. Mm -hmm. But then it's also like, I never have the expectation that the guy will pay, like, cause I'm always ready to like pay for myself. But then like, especially if someone calls it a date, mm -hmm. I'm like, I am expecting them to pay. Yeah. 
Is that wrong? No. Okay. So if they call it a date, like you're like, okay, you're flipping the bill, like right? That's a, like I, you have every right to think that, don't you? Yeah, I mean, unless unless you know, say like, unless you're not comfortable with something like that, mm -hmm. say you're like a different person, you're just like, hey, it's okay, like it's still a date, but I'd like to pitch in mm -hmm. or like pay my half or yeah, whatever. Yeah. And you know, I think like my thing is like, okay, whether it's me paying for something or. Um, you know, just doing anything like nice, but like somebody declines, I'm like, yeah. are you sure? Yeah. And they're like, yeah, I'm sure. And then I respond with, you're positive. <laughs> I give them multiple, multiple chances, chances to yeah. change their mind. And if they really want something, then I'll let them like, you know, yeah. give them the space to like do that. Yeah. But I'll, you know, make sure that I at least give them two times to like decline it. Not, you know, not because I'm like, it's like we're both fighting to eat, like tug of war on the check and it's like it's not a date it is a date it's yeah not a date. It's, it is you know but yeah. um so yeah and um and to be fair though mm -hmm. women have every single reason to be suspicious of men because there's been a lot of d-bags out there who are not doing things like the right way and giving all men pretty much uh, a bad name yep a bad name so you know you see things out there all the time now where it's like yeah all men are blank yeah whatever you know it is on like twitter or like yeah. instagram and then uh people showing their uh Patron. stories <laughs> on like the guys sliding in dms then like putting it on like their stories and calling them out and stuff which i love I, I yeah love i love that, that too it's keep doing very it very entertaining yes <laughs> but like you know guys like that are have conditioned like women to be very suspect defensive of, we're always on the defense, yeah. always. Um, and I don't think that's like going to change. I no. think it's only gonna like continue to move forward. But again, that's uh, why you have to have like clear communication mm -hmm. and you know, and it's always good to like be friends with someone before, before. you like ask them out. I yeah. can't even imagine like not being friends or like knowing someone uh, for a decent amount to kind of like mm -hmm. really get to know them before yeah. even Asking, asking them out because you don't know like you know if someone is like not crazy i won't say crazy <laughs> because it's uh, listen fellas every woman out there is a little bit crazy and if you think otherwise or she tells you otherwise she's lying yeah. we're all crazy to a degree yes but, um, women are a special kind yeah i love it though just embrace it mm -hmm. <laughs> but you know everyone has like baggage right so yeah. certain baggages are heavier than others so like you don't you know if you like go out with someone and then you just like see it all there you mm -hmm. could have completely just like saved time just like getting to know that person yep. and say like yo can you know what i think like they have something that they need to like work through mm -hmm. and i'll be their like friend through it but i'm yeah. not gonna like pursue anything romantically yeah um yeah. and kind of like waste both of like our times Time. where you know say like because i've known people who've been in relationships too for like a couple of years and then they just call it quits because maybe they shouldn't have even like gone God. on a date in the yeah. first place but just to kind of like been friends mm -hmm. um so again a uh broken record but everything <laughs> comes down to communication yeah like honestly like it's like um you know we're all like humans are all based on mm -hmm. like carbon or whatever the thing is like and it all just like comes down to that yeah so with like friendship or just like romantic relationships <laughs> the sorry we have nats <laughs> special guest in the house yeah um, you know all comes down to communication so it's i don't know it saves you yes. like, so much so like, much like, trouble yeah. yes just yeah. be honest and open and communicate not too open you don't want to give your life story like in the first date and then like scare somebody off cause, yeah ease in yeah ease in so you know the date starts with the guy like leaning in intently and, and just like really paying attention and then by the time it's over and people overshare they're like oh god <laughs> it's like well, good luck with all that <laughs> i'm out yeah it's like have a good night gotta go yeah okay y'all so um a lot of good information in this video for sure but because me and daniel love to talk so much we are going to make a part two um continuing yes two continuing this um kind of same topic um same uh issues being discussed so make sure that you go watch the second part of this video um but that is it for us um today and i uh thank you guys so much for watching